Welcome to my world. Today's topic for June the 2nd is the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth. According to what we've been told, Jesus talked a lot about the Kingdom of Heaven. Is this some mystical dream of visionaries of a bygone era? Or is it something that has actual potential of manifesting in our lifetime? Are ninth wave energies moving us in that direction? These are some of the things I hope to consider in today's talk. Last night we had an open discussion here at the Mary Horgan Center and the Kingdom of Heaven was one of many topics that we touched upon. But for me the Kingdom of Heaven has always had a special attraction. The idea of a utopian world, of a world where justice prevails where truth and love and all of the ideals implanted in the human soul coalesce into an actual manifestation of a world where everyone has a chance to be truly fulfilled and it's certainly not the world that I find myself living in or that I observe around me where there is the antithesis of everything that we long for, or at least that I long for in the deepest part of my heart. Instead of justice, I see injustice everywhere. Instead of peace, I see constant conflict and war. And I see, instead of abundance, I see loss and limitation. And I realize, as a mystic, that these are artificial constructs that we are going through and I believe that there's a lesson to be learned through all of this construct that we have created together and agreed upon in this matrix. We're not agreeing on it anymore though are we? The answer to the second question, are ninth wave energies moving us in that direction? I sincerely with all of my heart believe they are otherwise I wouldn't be doing these ninth wave videos. I believe we are being led by a power that is higher than all of us and yet is within each of us. Call it God, call it prime creator or primary force or the universal or cosmic essence, call it whatever you want. There is an energy and I'm convinced of it, I feel it, sometimes I feel it more than others, sometimes I don't just feel it, I know it, I experience it as reality, sometimes I have doubts, I go back and forth just like most other humans, I'm sure most other humans, but I can't speak for everybody, but I do <laughs> hear from a lot of people, and it does seem to be common ground. We are being moved to something that is greater than we've known in the past. The old world order is crumbling. There's even reports out of Great Britain that the United Kingdom is now being challenged. And the Queen is feeling a little bit, shall we say, uh, uncomfortable. Shall we say that she's maybe not quite as secure as she has been in the past, that maybe this New World Order plan of world domination, of a, of a monarchy over the whole world where an elite group of people rule over everyone else with by force of power, well who would have ever thought that the Queen would feel insecure, but apparently there is a level of insecurity going on uh, in the heart and mind of the queen and in the palace <laughs> from which she from which she reigns buckingham palace it's not just her though it's in presidents and prime ministers and world leaders everywhere there's a sense of unease because everything is up in the air everything is being challenged everything that can be shaken is being shaken the bankers that have ruled <laughs> subtly from behind the scenes through the power of, of artificially created wealth 
they got to be scared because the banking scam is is being exposed and I mean more and more people are waking up to the fact how long can the charade continue I don't believe that the kingdom of heaven is something that was is reserved for visionaries of a bygone era I do believe that there is an, a real a very real and tangible probability not even just a possibility a probability of manifestation in our lifetime not only in our lifetime but I believe we will see some of it this year does it look chaotic in the world absolutely anytime a paradigm shift occurs there is chaos there is there is tension between the old paradigm and the new paradigm it's inevitable it happens all the time and all of a sudden there's a tipping point reached and people realize hey why didn't I see this a long time ago we are reaching a collective aha moment in our experience as human beings the aha moment that we've been living in, a, in an artificially created reality that doesn't jive with something else that's going on inside of us and that's where Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is found it's inside of you it's within you it's in your midst he didn't just mean himself he meant it's in everyone which is why he said the things that I do you shall do also and greater things than these shall you do because I go to my father I'm not talking about religion that's one of the things that we're having the aha moment about religion has not served us in so far as creating the world that we long for it hasn't served us in fact it served the opposite it has served to divide us and to keep us at war to keep us in constant in a constant state of conflict within our own being which is why we have had the state of conflict in our world as within so without as above so below or as above so I really think the as, as above so below is really to me not as true as as within so without I think that's a far better description of how things work in the real world, how, how things manifest in the real world. What's happening within you? Well, I can't answer that question, only you can, for you. But what's happening in me is there's an excitement that's building and building and building. An excitement that something is happening that I haven't experienced before in my life. I'm becoming aware not only of the light that's in me, I'm more aware of the darkness that's within me. I'm more aware of everything that's happening in my world. I am paying attention. I am tapping into energies that I, that I would have completely overlooked before. I'm learning to appreciate the tangible things as well as the intangible things in my life and name them and be consciously aware that my attitude of gratitude affects the things around me whether it's my automobile whether it's my appliances whether it's the water that I drink or the food that I eat that I can transmute somebody uh, sent me a beautiful documentary that I watched probably three quarters of it last night late before I went to bed on the girt I, I don't remember the, I was gonna say Gershwin but that doesn't sound right anyway this doctor that came up this German doctor that came up with the, this thing about our diet and eating and I'm not gonna discount that the person that, that the person that's trying to get me to become a vegan good for you if that's where you are and you're happy with it fine I really believe that I have the ability to transmute everything that I take into my body so that it serves me I believe I have that so I have it and I experience good health even though I eat some processed food and even though I don't follow all the dietary regimen that is highly recommended will I at some point in my future perhaps I will perhaps I'll become a breatharian where I won't have to eat food at all but the kingdom of heaven is manifesting within me I sense that I sense that with the greater expansion of my consciousness a greater expansion of my ability 
to love and to comprehend things and to put pieces together that that were that that were planted seeds that were planted long ago in my life all of a sudden i can see how this piece and this piece and this other piece of information that i was given things that i studied in my past are all of a sudden coming together for me this is the kingdom to me this is the kingdom of heaven manifesting in my life do i still have challenges absolutely i have challenges you all know that i don't hide those from you i'm not on some plateau or some pedestal somewhere living in some ivory tower where God has shielded me from all of the misfortunes of life. No, I have the challenges the same as everybody else has, does in the world. Now, we all have them to different degrees. They may manifest in different ways, whether it's breakdown of relationships, whether it's loss of job, whether it's uh, loss of home, which is a, a terrible thing. I, I know that personally and I feel it acutely for those that have already lost their homes, whether it's through war or or criminal courts or whatever it's because of people are being displaced from their homes living in tent cities I'm aware of these things I'm aware of of what's going on around me do I focus on on all of the pain and the suffering that's going on in the world no of course not I can't focus on that but I'm aware of it I'm aware of what's going on I'm not hiding my head from it the kingdom of heaven embraces everything and transmutes it. It doesn't, it's not an escapist plan. It's not the ETs are going to come and take us all up into spaceships and take us off of this terrible Earth. No, Earth is wonderful. Mother Earth is wonderful and she is transforming. And because our consciousness is rising, we don't need all the cataclysms that have been predicted in the past. The prophecies fail because consciousness has changed. And again, we talked about that last night too. What makes a prophecy a prophecy? A prophet is looking, or a prophet or a psychic or a medium, is looking at the energies that are present right now. When we change our minds, when we shift our consciousness, the prophecy changes. We can transmute the prophecies of doom and gloom into prophecies of hope and wonder, which is what's happening. The kingdom of heaven is manifesting in this ninth wave on earth. It's manifesting in you, if you will, but open your eyes and see it. Which eyes? These eyes? Well, you can open those too, but especially the eyes of the heart. Especially the eyes of the heart. Learn to see from the intuitive part of yourself. Because the kingdom of heaven is here now on earth. And you can see it if you look for it. You can feel it if you, if you open yourself to feel to feel and you can know it you can know it today right now in your personal life the kingdom of heaven is in your midst it's in your heart it's in you it's in me it's in everyone and many of us are waking up is there still a long way to go it seems to be but we'll reach a quantum point a tipping point where all of a sudden things will shift and the whole world maybe will have its aha moment. I don't know how it's going to work, but I see something wonderful is going to happen. I feel it. I know it. Do you? Do you know it? Do you feel it? I believe many of you do. If you don't, if you'll just but open, if you keep doing things and seeing things the way you've always done and seen them, you'll keep getting the same results. But I'm telling you, if you're willing to go outside of your comfort zone, go into a territory that you're, that's not familiar to you, you may be surprised at just what opens up within you. Because the kingdom of heaven is here now. It's not a pipe dream. It's not wishful thinking. It's reality, folks. It's a spiritual reality that's impinging upon the reality that we've known, the matrix that we've known for a long time. And it's changing everything. I leave you with these stories thoughts this morning and I hope you feel what I'm feeling in your own way because you can because you will God bless you and namaste <laughs>